I love you too. And I still do. But yeah, trust me. Nothing can erase your love from my heart. And I already assured you that this marriage can never separate me from you. Yeah, I mean that. What a way of celebrating honeymoon with a newly wedded wife! Um, later. Please, I'll have to talk to you later, okay? What a rude and mannerless wife. Who doesn't know that you don't interrupt your husband while discussing with someone? I had to interrupt you because you are telling another lady that this marriage cannot separate you from her on our wedding night. Are you, are you, are you out of your senses? What? Kate? Me? Out of my senses? Me? Out of my senses? Yes. Why did I hear you say <laughs> I never promised you I was going to stop my relationship with other ladies when I agreed to marry you, did I? <laughs> and listen, if you know what is good for you, better get it into that your known and little score. That you should be ready to cope with whatever you see in this marriage. Else, then you set your eyes on me. Excuse me. I need some fresh air. Don't come back here. Don't come. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I am very sure you don't embarrass yourself here. And don't make me do what I don't intend to do. Bam. Have you forgotten what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 13? It 
is only those who endure to the end that will be saved. My sister, you have already waited for 12 years. And answer to our long-awaited prayer is around the corner. Please, you can wait more. The Lord... No, I am already made up my mind. Thanks for being there for me all this time. You should not be moved by what you see, but by the word of God. Moreover, without Jesus, you can do nothing. Sister Kate, your husband is spiritually dead, and he needs your help. No, ma. I have already made up my mind. But if I'm not destined to enjoy a good marriage, then I can enlarge my business and make money for myself. Sister Bama, you're getting it all wrong. God answers prayers. But he only answers prayers in his own time. Listen to me. This is what I've always said. As long as the earth remains, the seed time and harvest time shall never cease. You have sown a lot into your husband's conversion. Don't let the devil deceive you. Now that all the prayers that we have all prayed and labored over him, I about to be answered. I even saw a revelation last week. In the revelation, the Lord showed me. I saw a... I am tired of waiting, Pastor! I am tired of waiting endlessly without any manifestation. I am talking of 12 years, Pastor. No, 12. 14 years! 14 years of, of a bad marriage! 14 years of suffering and smiling. 14 years of emptiness. I'm tired of this, your usual sermon of seed and harvest time. I am tired! Don't get me back to my money period, Pastor. Don't get me back. Leave me alone! Before you leave, Sister Abba, Listen to what the Holy Spirit said I should tell you from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 25 to 29. Because you have disdained my counsel, and you will not have none of my reward. I also will laugh at your calamity, and will mock when your terror comes. When your terror shall come like a storm, when your destruction comes like a wild wind. When distress and anguish shall come upon you, then you will call upon me and you will not find me. Therefore, you shall eat the fruit of your own way and you shall be filled to the full with your own fancy. For the turning away of the fool will slay them and the complacencies of the fool shall slay them. But whosoever shall listen and obey me we dwell in safety and we'll be secured without fear of evil. Sister Baba, this is what the Lord you have served for years said I should tell you. Please, I want you to listen. Otherwise... Otherwise what, Pastor? Otherwise what? To hell with you and your prophecies, Pastor. The God I know it's not a wicked God. Please excuse me. I remember that the priest told us that 
the family of the girl we used for the last treasure have taken vengeance. And that what they did is to kill us in succession. I mean, all of us will have to be dying one after the other. Yeah. Now, Alex is gone. Yeah. And now that you have escaped from them, <laughs> that means I'm the one that is going to die. Sure. <laughs> And every day when I close my eyes now, I am seeing death. It's as if death is running after me everywhere I go. Eh? This is just my first time in the National Assembly. Everywhere I go now, I could see the death closing in on me. Do you know that I just escaped a fatal accident this morning? This morning. By now, everybody would have had that. Honorable Papa is gone. Every moment it looks like death is closing in on me. Now, for you to have escaped, I know you have done something. Yes. Fulu, what have you done? Yes, boss. I have to look for help for myself. I didn't wait for what uh, Baba Jeff did. I have to go elsewhere to look for help for myself. Okay? I got another ballist who actually helped me. Boss, this is so very more. I'm still alive. I'm very healthy, very strong. Bruno, healthy. Bruno, I didn't bring you here to come and tell me all these stories. I mean, what did you do? Where did you go? Connect me to the source. Let me do something about my life. Let you know, take me there. Let me let me see the man. Maybe he can help me. That's all I'm saying here. Okay. If you don't mind, and if you are not too busy, I can take you there if you are ready. Busy? If you are said now, let's go. Take me there now. Well, let's go, sir. Then let's go. Ah, yes, that's all. Okay, okay, okay. You have not eaten anything since. Just take you to. Just take you to. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. I need to take you there. Sorry. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Fine, ma'am. How is Esther? How is her body now? I hope she's getting better. She's getting better. She's here. Please, give the phone to her. I want to speak with her. Hello, Mom. Hello, Queen Esther. I'm much better than before, Ma. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you for your love. You know, Esther, Mom and Dad are only trying their best to take you to that very height God has promised us about you. It is well with you, my dear. You know one thing you're going to do for us? Ensure you rest. Hmm? And God's presence will be with you. We love you. It is well with you. God bless you, my dear. Amen. Thank you, Mom. I love you too. Bye bye. Maybe you should manage to follow me to the fellowship tonight for the vigil. Mm. You can always sleep in one of the offices at the chapel. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm just to rest. And when <sighs> I'll be fine when I get enough rest. I can't leave you here alone by yourself. Mm. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, if you say so. I'll be on my way. This Will you try to come and lock the door? Um, just lock it. Lock it behind. Sorry. Thank you. 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 I know my 
they are a new body. You get to know my secret until I collect my money from you in Jesus' name. <laughs> hey, Esther, Esther. <laughs> okay, what should I wear? What should I wear? What should I wear? This is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you are here. Shut up. Move. You won't go away. Move. Huh? Come on, move. Move. Come, come, come. Come, come. come here. You can talk. Right. Let's follow you. I will slap you. Come on. Move. 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 This way. I said this way. Yes, yes, tell me. It's messy. Yes, have you seen Esther? You mean she's not with you? Okay. Okay. Shola, Shola. Shola. Shola, yes, it's messy. Is Esther with you there? You mean she's not there? All right, all right, all right. I'll get back. I'll get back to you. <sighs> Mommy. Hello, Mommy. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. I just came back from VG and I can't find Esther. Is, is she with you there? Has she come home? How come? What happened? When? But I thought I spoke with you people yesterday night. And you left her in the room alone. You went for VG. You shouldn't have listened to her now. Ah! Eh? Okay. You know what you are going to do for me? Make sure you go and report the matter to the school authority, right? We will get back in touch with you. Hey, God, 
Have mercy, my dear. Esther is missing. I get you where you see a Bruno. Bruno! You know the here? Yes. Bruno! Yes. If you don't want me to divide you. Oh. If you don't want me to, to scatter you as you did so. Because as you are, I can finish simultaneous equation for your head. <laughs> as you know, say, we know ourselves. Well, uh, we know ourselves. All I just want you to do, if you don't want to die like one ordinary poor man, it's because we know ourselves very well. Have you not know ourselves? We know ourselves. We don't know the place they meet. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> see, you go better for your life. As I see you so, just call one of your guys. Bring their number. Tell them to bring the pity bill. You know that 50 M? I think you know no sir, no sin 50 M. Tell them make them bring the 50 M here. Or else. My guy, or else I'll go finish you for this place. Eh? I don't have money. I don't have money. The business is, is not moving as before. Please. People, people tend to be smarter now than before. I just have 10 million that I my car. Shut up! Shut up! You don't get money. You don't get you don't get money to give us. You like this? Hey! So wait, 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 wait. You think we'll be fool? Gala. This guy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, how many hours you get for letting? <laughs> how many you get for like? Tell me two. Oh. This animal got two houses for like you. Oh. Oh. It's not even the top. He has three other ones for Banana Island. You this go government waste. Small boy like you. Small boy like you! Five hours. Shut up! Yo fuck ya! You they Chris! This is quite a gun joke! We don't they trail you for the past two months. Two months! Do you think we've just picked on anyone on the street without knowing anything about him? Huh? Your father! You the craze! See, me, I go kill you for you. I go put you for a top party machine, cut you into two. What did I do? You did not waste my time. Where my money? I go kill you again. Hey, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Look here, look here, look here. I will waste your game. Leave her, leave her. No, 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 Tell your boyfriend, make you bring the money. Talk to your boyfriend. <laughs> Talk to him. So just ten million naira. Shut, shut up, shut up. Say answer, answer, answer. Talk to your. Talk. Talk. <laughs> eh? I'm just ten million naira. Yeah, you do. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, this is evil. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, this is for years. For years, I will break your head. I don't want to. You see where they see people before? You waste my time since last night. I'm telling you for years. I'm telling you for years. Hello. This is Tina. She is one of our worst mates. Ah, oh, God bless she you. She lives close to our hostel. She gave me another information about Esther's whereabouts this morning. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I saw her on the way to Kempes Junction around 9.30 p.m. Initially, I couldn't recognize her because she was dressed in a worldly attire and a wide hairdo. Ah! What? <laughs> our own Esther! Yes, Dress? In a worldly attire. Mm -mm. Ah, Lord, 
Hey. It's all right, my dear. Have mercy, Lord. It's Lord. okay. It's okay. Let us hear out. Okay? Um, Tina, please continue. Before I could move closer to her to ask her questions, she had already entered into a very big car that parked beside her. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Mercy. Is this what your cousin has been doing in school? No, mommy. And no. you refuse to tell us. No, mommy. I never caught her doing this. But one time like that, I remember that when we were talking about believing in God and waiting on God for his promises, she started saying something contrary. And I remember that I held a retreat with her that lasted the whole weekend. Mommy, remember I, I, I reported the case to you, man. Hey, you did, my dear. I will be praying for her. Oh, God have mercy. Oh, should we go? My dear, say something. It's all right. It's all right. Um, Mercy, Tina, I want you to keep your ears on the ground. Have enjoyed you hear anything? Please let us know. My dear, let's go. My dear, yeah. is that all what you say? What else do you want me to say? Ah. What else do you want me to say? Mm. The only thing we have to keep praying for is for God to preserve her wherever she is mm. <laughs> so that she will realize God's agenda for her life and she will be able to key into it. We've been ministering to other youths and they've been listening to us and through our lives they've become successful and useful to God. Where must it be our only daughter, Lord? <laughs> My dear, we cannot achieve anything by complaining, but we achieve much by praying. Don't forget that Esther has two other brothers who are spiritual giants and they are successful please Lord. all what we need to pray is Lord. that it will not be too late for her Lord. to realize god's agenda for Lord, her life have mercy. god have mercy lord god have mercy it's all right anywhere that is right now lord father by your mercy bring her home Lord, by mercy, release Ezra from the dungeon of. Somebody help! Help us, please! Help us! Help us! Help us! Bruno! Bruno! Bruno, please, no! Bruno! 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 Help us! What's it?
trouble. I am in a deep trouble now. Ha. Who do I run to? Who will help me out now? I mean, who will save me from this death? Ha. Should I call my wife? able to help me. Ha. Important Zoom meeting with my clients now. I'm sure you know I'm already in Abuja. Uh, uh, my dear, please. Please, don't hang up the phone yet. Just listen. Hello? Hello? She's not even listening to me now. Hello, my dear. My dear, please. I am ready to repent now. Yes, I'm ready to follow your Jesus now. I am so sorry for all the pains that have caused you. Please, I... Hello? Hello? Ha. She got the phone. She got the phone. Hey! I'm finished. I have finished. Where do I run to? Who will save me from this penalty of death? Ha! Oh, Feni Bama. Is this the way you will really end it? Am I really going to die? Ha! Oh, no! Hey!
These people claim to worship me, but their words are meaningless. Their hearts are somewhere else. Their religion is nothing but human rules and tradition, which they have simply memorized. Those who try to hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them.
2 p.m. Say date. I'll be expecting you, baby. Love you. <laughs> yes! <laughs>
and I didn't really understand what you said on the phone and that's why we are here to verify whether we really had you well. Yes, I meant all what I said on phone sir. I have told my lawyer that I want to settle out of court and he has started the process already. Yeah. Esther will soon be released. Cool, thank you ma. So much. At times, this may be so cruel that one may not even care what happens to them. Ah, ah, Shade. That's not true. That's not the assignment that God has given to us as help to our husbands. Yes, my husband was not born again. And he was not ready to be. But because I am born again, I was supposed to stand before the Lord to help him. So? Hmm. Whatever has happened to my husband now is as a result of my stubborn and revengeful spirit. God told me to be patient and to keep praying for my husband. He told me he will fight every disobedience when my own obedience is complete. He even sent my pastor and his wife to warn me and to keep assuring me of the power in God's word. But when the pressure became too much for me, 
that I could not withstand the uncontrollable and promiscuous life of my husband. I gave up my hope in God and decided to opt out of the marriage and face my business. I can imagine the trauma that your late husband put So that I can be violent with the devil. So that I can use God's word. To make my husband fulfill all that has been written concerning him. But now, it is too late. It is too late for me to pray. It's already too late. Because I allowed the devil to create a gap and a hole in my faith and work with God. <laughs> it's already too late for God to answer my prayers. No! I am furious with the devil! I am angry with the devil who has no other duty than to kill to steal and to destroy. I am ready to go everywhere to teach and to warn all men to always leave. Thank you, Jesus. You're welcome, dear. Yay! Yeah. Hey! Lord of Jesus! What is this? Esther! 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 Ah, Esther! 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 Seven weeks pregnancy. <laughs> For a dead man, seven weeks. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. The last time we visited her in the cell, I saw how pain she was looking. I suspected something was wrong with this girl. Hey, Jesus Christ. I am finished. Oh. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. See what I said, Johnny. No, you know. <laughs> oh, 
shouting cannot undo what has been done. She has seen the consequences of her choices. Ah, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Let's go. Ah! Hey, let's go. Ah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Mm. Yeah. Is it you? Hey. Is it you? What? Is it you? Is it you? What is it? Hey! Lester, what is it? Is it you? Is it you? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I was not jailed. I was not in prison. I was not convicted for murder. Hey! Mr. Calm down. I was not pregnant for a dead man. Mr. What happened ah. all this reason? Ah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Ah. So it's not too late before I realize the importance of not struggling with God. Ah! Sister Mercy, help me thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Help me thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Esther, Esther, calm down, calm down. What happened? Stop all these things. What happened? What's the problem? <sighs> did, did Mr. Julius make advances at you? I mean, did he ask you out? Yes, he did. And I slapped him. This was exactly what I saw in my revelation. <laughs> so the devil has been planning to truncate the destiny God has for me. So, the devil wants to exchange my glorious future for nothing. Ah, God forbid. <laughs> Please just help me thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, this is a divine encounter. Ah, God, I will not leave you. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was about to go to Jennifer. They wanted to kill me. So I was attempted, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Hello, hello, honorable. Timmy, what is going on now? Eh? What's happening? Eh? See, I have tried to convince Esther. But I think she has made up her mind. She said she didn't want to see you again. Yes. She said she's not a Jesus girl. I've tried her number several times. Our phone is switched off. What? What does she mean by that? Eh? She must be a fool. She must be a fool for saying that. And then she's a big fool. Ah! Eh, eh, now, Timmy. Timmy. If you can get her, I need you to get me another young lady, beautiful young lady. I want you to arrange that for me now, now. When I say no, I mean no, no, right now, okay? It's okay, honorable. Just count on me. At least I'm in a hostel now. I will try and you understand. I'll try and convince her. All right. Okay. Ah, I'm finished. The papa said. I'm going to die in few hours. Few hours if this ritual is not done before 9 p.m. Hey, Bodaro. Ah, I'm finished. Odufemi Baba. It looks like you are getting close to your grave now. You will soon be seeing your ancestors. Ah, Odaro. 
But no, what have I got myself into? Hey, who sent me? Who sent me? Who sent me? Ah. But Esther, I've been begging you for a while. Just give it a try. And you know that Honorable Mama paid you in dollars the last time you met me in. And he's ready to do much more. See, I'm talking about a man who owns houses all over the country. Hey, he has vowed to give you whatsoever you ask from him. Ha! I wish I had this opportunity. I would not waste it. Ha! Babe, you don't understand. This man is rich, is wealthy. Oh God. I wish you understand what I'm saying. Just grab your money, put in your fix it. You don't understand. Ah, for the future. Oh God. Oh God, Shimile. Ah, I, I think your name sounds as it, as it suggests. See me? That is, you like pushing people out of God's plan and purpose for their life into the plan of the devil. That's who you are. How much did they pay you for this? 1 million, 10 million, 20 million, whatever amount it is. My destiny is not for sale. I am bought with a price. I am a new creation man. I no longer live for myself, but for Christ. This is no longer the Esther you used to know, okay? This Esther is an Esther that lives by the word of God. This is an Esther that now lives for Christ and not for money, riches, perishable things or whatsoever. I have a destiny to fulfill and no man, no money, no principality can plug me away from his hands. I am no match for the devil. I am a dead case for Satan. To me, all I'm just trying to say is that I'm just counseling you. Give your life to Christ sincerely. He, he has a divine purpose and plan for you. He's ready to save you. He's ready to to to, to cleanse you, to me. Please give your life to God. Stop running errands for Satan. Please. If, if you are ready now, he's ready to cleanse you, like right now. He's ready to, to, to change you. If you are ready now, can, can you just say this after me? Lord Jesus, I, I commit my life to you today. To me, stop! Stop doing this! Ah, oh God. God, God, please just save her. Save her, Lord. Save her, Lord. Save her, God. Ah. That revelation I had was real. It was real, God. <sighs> ah, see, I don't know that girl is so stubborn. Eh? She has refused to follow me on any ways. Timmy, what should we do now? What should we do? I don't know. I don't even know what you're saying in her. Please don't worry about am I not a beautiful girl? At least try me for the night and see what will be. I wonder how she's not interested. I don't know. Well, actually, you're not bad. Just that I've not been sizing you since. Please. So you want to go with me, eh? Yes. Then let's go then.
Terror shall come like a storm. When your destruction comes like a riot, when distress and anguish shall come upon you,
I never knew that there is time for everything under the sun. God had his own time me, but I could not wait for God. My husband, my husband died because of my carelessness. He died because I couldn't stand in the gap to show him the path of salvation. He died because I couldn't wait for God to play his own part in his life. No! I am angry with the devil! I am angry with the devil! But it's already too late! I wish somebody could tell me it's a dream! That honorable Odu Femi Baba is gone and gone forever! He's gone to hell! It is appointed unto man to die once. And after that, judgment. I knew the truth. I had to have, you know, stood in the gap for him to rescue him from the powers of darkness, from the power of hell. But I couldn't bear the pain. I couldn't bear the pain. Now, he is too late for God to play his own part. He is too late for God to play his own role. Do you want to wait until it is too late for you to realize that there is a time for everything under the sun? Do you want to wait until the devil destroys your home? And for women, for women, the Lord created you as help me, help me, help me in your husband's life. Why don't you rise up? Rise up to serve the Lord, to know the Lord, to be his friend. Rise up on your feet. And as a man, you are tired of your waywardness, of your load of sin. Rise up. God is ready to help you. As a woman, because you are tired of, your, of the wickedness of your husband and you are giving up, do not give up. Rise up to pray. Rise up to pray. Are you here? You are saying you are ready to lay everything on the altar. Come on. Come Come. Come. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Come and lay everything on the altar of sacrifice. He's ready to.